Alright, I am here to share the battery performance results of One UI 3.0 Beta 1 which was released by Samsung a couple of days ago for Galaxy Note 10 series. And believe me, you are here for a surprise. The device I have here is Note 10 Plus which rocks an Exynos chipset and let me tell you that this first beta seems to be pretty good. The phone is not facing any major issues except for a couple of minor bugs such as a green screen flicker while zooming on the camera and some third party application crashes. One of the viewers had also noticed the same bug in the camera and shared with us in the comment section. Anyways, now before we get into the battery test results, I request you guys to support the channel by being a part of this Apex community. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like for the video if you find it useful. Now let's get rolling. First thing to note, here on One UI 3.0 we get just two battery optimization modes. One is a normal mode and second one is power saving mode. And another thing is when you turn on the power saving mode on Note 10 Plus, the display will remain on Quad HD. I'm not sure whether it's a bug or they have executed it that way. I would rather prefer Full HD on power saving mode to Quad HD. Anyways, as usual, I share the real life battery test results on two different settings. First one is on normal mode, QHD display, dark mode on, always on display off and auto brightness is on. Let me share the results in this mode before I go to the power saving mode. In this case, I charged the phone morning at around 9.30 am and uh, had a usual day with a moderate usage. I have got a screen on time of 6 hours 30 minutes by the end of the day, which is around 9.30 pm. And that is with 12% battery left on the phone, which is not bad I would say. This obviously means that there is no issue with respect to battery performance on this beta and there is definitely some improvement with respect to screen on time. Moreover, the remaining 12% would have taken the screen on time to about 7 hours which is great. In this scenario, I have used YouTube for about 1 hour 50 minutes and there was a widget which was consuming some battery which is about 8% consumption and uh, I have used camera for about 23 minutes. WhatsApp for about half an hour. The calling was somewhere around one, one and a half hours. And I have played a casual game. I have played Subway Surfer for about 10 plus minutes. And a few other applications like Spotify, Telegram, Google News, Daily Hunt, Google Maps for about 10 minutes as well. And many other applications. Now let's go to the second mode. And here we have some surprising results for you guys. This was on power saving mode. Here the dark mode was turned on. Always on display was off. Adaptive brightness was on. The display was manually set to full HD. A similar day of usage has offered a whopping 6 hour 17 minutes screen on time with 40% battery left which is freaking amazing. Then when the battery came down to 30%, the screen on time was more than 7 hours. And imagine the SOT with another 30%. Approximately another 3 hours for sure which is a screen on time of 10 hours on a single charge on power saving mode with full HD display. What do you guys say about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I was really surprised to get such battery performance results in this mode. I wish I was getting this battery life on Note 20 Ultra on power saving mode if at all I was using it on this mode. This is certainly an improvement over One UI 2.5. Anyways, that's all I have here. This One UI 3.0 is gonna be a great upgrade for you guys. I will keep updating you on the upcoming beta versions and their performances and issues. So stay tuned for those videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos on Samsung phones, Galaxy watches, Android applications, and anything related to technology. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.